Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I want to be teaching you how to download and install Lightmatica in Minecraft 1.14.4. Lightmatica is an incredible mod that allows you to get schematics in Minecraft 1.14. Now here's the thing, Schematica, which was the old schematics mod for Minecraft, isn't being really actively updated anymore, and Lightmatica has stepped in and kind of taken the torch to allow you to use schematicas in Minecraft. So we're going to be going through every single step of getting schematica in Minecraft, but first we have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Host, and go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS directed Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, if you want an incredible DDoS Tracking Minecraft server for you and your friends to play on, Apex Minecraft Hosting is the way to go. Check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. The first thing we want to do is go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is the Lightmatica download page, and once you're here, you want to click on this Files button right here. Once you click on Files, it'll take you to this area where you want to make sure you're downloading the 1.14.4 version of Lightmatica. Now, you can do that by making sure it says 1.14.4 right here in the file name. If it's not up here, it's going to be down here towards the bottom. Now, one quick note is that you want to make sure you're downloading the Fabric version of this mod. As you can see, it says Fabric-1.14.4, and if it says that, then you're good to come over here and click this Download button to the right of it. The download will then begin in five seconds, and once that download does begin, it'll download in the bottom left. Now, here's the thing. If you're on Google Chrome, you'll need to keep the file. It'll say Lightmatic at the beginning, and it'll end in .jar, and if it does, go ahead and click Keep. Now, on Mozilla Firefox, it's going to pop up in the center of your screen. If it has Lightmatic in the file name, go ahead and click Save there as well. Well, now, we're not downloading yet. We need to download two more things. The next is the Malalib. This is going to be the basically library mod required for Lightmatica. So come here to this page. It is also linked in the description down below, the third link down below, actually, and it will take you here. We again want to click on Files. This time, we also want to make sure that it says Fabric in it, which it does say Fabric, and it should say 1.14.4, which it does. As we can see, Fabric 1.14.4, and then click on this purple download button here. Well, I guess white and purple download button, and same process. Take is off to here where we have to wait five seconds and after five seconds the download will begin in the bottom left. As long as it says Malalib, we can go ahead and click Keep on Mozilla Firefox and save it in the center of your screen. There's one more download we need to download, and that is Fabric. Basically, this is Forge, but it's a kind of different version of Forge. It's not like a branch of Forge or anything. What it is is it's a mod loader, right? As Forge is a mod loader, this is also a mod loader, and this is the page it will take you to. If you click the fourth link down below, it'll take you here. Then we want to come over here and click on the vanilla right here, installation four, vanilla. Once you click on that, you'll be able to download the installer universal.jar. As you can see, download installer universal.jar. Click on that, and it will go ahead and download in the bottom left. As long as it has fabric in the file name, which ours does, we can go ahead and click keep on the uh, Mozilla Firefox. It'll pop in the center of your screen. Again, as long as it has fabric, you're good to keep the file. Now, we're finally done downloading. So if we minimize our browser on our desktop, we have three things. We have Lightmatica, we have the Malib mod, and we have, or not mod library, and we have the fabric mod loader. So once we've got those three on our desktop, we can move forward. What if they're on your desktop though? Well, no worries. You can go to your downloads folder, which is in the top left of my screen, bottom left of your screen. There's that little windows icon on the bottom left. Click on that and then type in downloads. You'll then have this downloads file folder in windows. Go ahead and click on that. And in here, you'll find the files you downloaded. Drag them from your downloads folder here to your desktop just for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, we can go ahead and get them installed. The first thing we actually want to start off with is the Fabric installer here. So go ahead and right click on that, click on Open With, and then click on Java TM Platform SE Binary. But what if you don't have Java TM Platform SE Binary, or what if you do and it doesn't work? Well, we have a solution for you. In the description down below, you'll find the link to Java. This is how to download and install Java for Minecraft servers, but also Minecraft mods. Basically, how to get Java up and running correctly for Minecraft. This walks you through every single step. So if you don't have Java TM Platform SE Binary or can't open the Fabric mod and you do have it, come here and install Java. If you install Java, and you still can't open the fabric mod loader there, come back over to our video and click on the next link in the description, the jar fix. And this will teach you how to repair and use jar files on your computer. Basically make dot jar files on your computer like fabric and all these mods work with Java again. And this goes through how to do that. It's a very simple three-step process. Now at this point, we can finally right click on fabric, click on open with, and then click on Java TM platform SE binary to go ahead and get the fabric installer open. Once it's open, you want to make sure that it does say 1.14.4 is our Minecraft version. Other than that, you can go ahead and leave everything the same and just click install. It'll then go ahead and say done. It's that simple. It said installing there for a second, but then it said done. 
Now we can go ahead and close out of the fabric installer and we can install these two mods, Lightmatica and the Malalip. So let's go ahead and do that by clicking on the Windows icon, again the top left of my screen, but the bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon on the bottom left, and then go ahead and type in Run once you've clicked on it. You'll then have this Run app, right, this Run application here. Click on the Run app and then it'll open up this. And in this little text box, you want to type in percent sign, APP, DATA, percent sign, percent sign, app data, percent sign, and click OK. That will then open up your roaming folder here. In your roaming folder, you'll have a .minecraft folder, and then you'll have a mods folder. But Nick, what if I don't have a mods folder? Well, no worries, I don't have a mods folder either. It's, it's nowhere to be found here. So what we wanna do is right click, create a new folder, and then title this new folder mods, right like so. Once you've got your mods folder created, all lowercase, it should be exactly like that. There's a capital in there, it's not gonna work. It needs to be M-O-D-S, all lowercase, and then open up your newly created mods folder. Then take Lightmatica and Malalib and drag them into your mods folder, right like so. Now we can go ahead and open up Minecraft. So if we go in here and open up Minecraft, we will then in the bottom left be able to click on this little download, or not download, this little arrow in the bottom left of the Minecraft launcher and select the fabric loader. Now if you have that, go ahead and click play. You're good there. If you don't, what do you do? Well, come to the top of Minecraft, the Minecraft launcher here, click on installations, and then you want to create a new installation by clicking the new button right here. Once you've clicked that, you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our Minecraft server, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. We have incredible custom survival with over 20 quests on our medieval survival server. It's a player-based economy. It is absolutely incredible. On top of that, we have a custom skyblock server that you will absolutely love with tons and tons of players on there every single day. Over 300 players on Breakdowncraft nearly every single day of the week. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Now, next to version here, or under version, I should say, you'll have this little, basically, arrow and drop-down menu. When you click on that, you should see Release Fabric-Loader, and there it is. As you can see, Release Fabric-Loader. Once you click on it, you should be able to see 1.14.4 in the title there. Now, for resolution, I'm going to go ahead and change that to 1080p, so you'll be able to see once we get in-game. But we can then go ahead and click Create. Then, find the profile you created, in my case, play.breakdowncraft.com there, and click the green Play button next to it. It should say Fabric Loader, and then 1.14.4 under it. Once we click play, it'll now open up Minecraft with Lightmatica installed. You'll be able to get schematics up and running without a problem. Now, how do you install schematics in Lightmatica? Well, I'll show you, but you do need to open up Minecraft with Lightmatica before you can install schematics. So once we're opened up here, I'm gonna show you that the mod is working, and then I'll show you how to install schematics and where to place those. I'm not gonna install any in this video, but I will show you how to do that. As you can see, I already have a world create called Lightmatica here. We can just double click on that and jump right on into game. Now, the first thing you wanna do when you install Lightmatica is just open up the menu, and you can do that by just doing M. If you hit M on your keyboard, it'll open up this, which is the Lightmatica Con or not Lightmatica config, the Lightmatica menu, basically. As you can see, you can load schematics, you can all do all that stuff right there. Now we do M plus C. This is all of the schematics config or Lightmatica configs, as you can see. And there's a lot of them, and you can click through all of this if you would like. But you do M to open up this menu, and M and C on your keyboard at the same time to open up this menu. Now, once you're here, you can go into loaded schematics, and you'll see all the schematics you have added here. Where are these schematics, you might ask? Well, let's go ahead and just show you. To do that, it's very simple. Again, we want to go to the Windows icon, the bottom left of your screen. We again want to type in Run, right like we did before to install the mod. And then again, we want to type in percent sign, app data percent sign, just like we did when we were installing the mod. And then again, we'll have this .minecraft folder. Once you go into your .minecraft folder, you'll now have a schematics folder. And right here it is. So if we wanted to create a new directory, all that's doing is creating a new folder. So we could do this like builds or my builds, for example, right? So we could do my builds there. Now if we go back over to Minecraft, we should be able to refresh this menu and it should pop up with my builds. See that? Right there it is. Now you would drag and drop any schematics you wanted to load it in game right here and be able to load those schematics and then place them in game. As you can see, schematic placements, all of that stuff. You can even do like area selection and everything like that. So it's absolutely incredible. Tons of features. There are tons of more options and they can all be seen in the link in the description down below here on the Lightmatica download page. It walks you through pretty much everything that uh, you need to know about Lightmatica. If you do have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. I'm more than happy to help you out in any way that I can. Enjoy your new schematics. My name is Nick, and I am out. Peace.